Hello and welcome to Gangtai News of Gangtai Radio and Television Station. Here are the headlines. The Deputy Minister of Transport inspected the implementation of the project to raise the clearance of bridges crossing national inland waterways in the southern region. The Gaihe Lock is finished and will soon open, aiming to help prevent flooding during high tides and storms this year. Gangda City's Department of Education and Training reviewed the 2023-2024 school year and outlined tasks for primary education in 2024-2025. Top news today: On the morning of August 17, Deputy Minister of Transport Wen Sungsheng. And his team checked the implementation of Phase One of the project to raise the clearance of bridges crossing national inland waterways in the southern region located in Gangtai City. During the inspection, the Waterway Project Management Board reported progress on the CDT XL02 package in Gangtai City. Omon Bridge has nearly completed compensation payments and transfer over 30% of the land. With a temporary bridge under construction, however, for Thoi Lai, Dong Thuong, and Dong Ben bridges in Thoi Lai District, 130 affected households have not yet handed over the land due to delays caused by the new 2024 regulations. In response, Mr. Wing Up Here, Vice Chairman of Gangtai City People's Committee, instructed local authorities to resolve administrative issues quickly. Deputy Minister of Transport Wen Sungsheng requested revisions to the construction plan, emphasizing the need for temporary roads and accelerated progress. He stressed that the project, funded by medium-term public investment, must be completed by the end of 2025 to secure disbursement, making timely land handover crucial. The construction of Gai Khe Lock has now been completed and is anticipated to be inaugurated soon. It is expected to be operational in time to effectively mitigate flooding during high tides and storms this year. The CT3 PW1.8 package for constructing Gai Khe Lock is a key flood control project for the city, aimed at improving climate change adaptation. Funded by the City ODA Project Management Board with a budget exceeding 430 billion Vietnamese dong, Gai Khe Lock functions as both a water lock and discharge system. It regulates the water level from the Gangtai River, helping to prevent flooding in the city's core area during rainy season and high tides. In conjunction with the recently completed renovation of drainage system on 32 inner city roads, the Gai Khe Lock is viewed as a crucial measure for flood prevention in the city's central area. On August 17, the Department of Education and Training of Gangtai City held a conference. To review the 2023-2024 school year and outline key tasks for primary education in the upcoming 2024-2025 school year. In the past school year, all primary schools in the city innovated teaching methods, incorporated STEM education, and increased experimental activities, leading to over 99% of students completing the curriculum. Notably, five students won international and 11 won national competition prizes. For the 2024-2025 school year, primary education will focus on several key tasks, implementing measures to ensure school safety, organizing the teaching of foreign language and information technology accordingly, enhancing digital transformation, teaching digital citizenship skills, and using digital report cards. Additionally, local education content will be implemented in line with the 2018 general education program. The City Department of Education and Training also awarded certificates to top-performing schools, and VEPIC Company donated bookcases and TVs to five primary schools. Gangtai City University has recently released the admission scores for the 2024 high school graduation exam, Method Number Two. Pedagogy majors have the highest admission scores at Gangtai University, with history pedagogy at 28.43 points. Followed by geography pedagogy at 27.9 points and literature pedagogy at 27.83 points, information technology and logistics and supply chain management follow. Admission scores have increased by 0.03 to 3.5 points compared to last year, with some majors remaining the same. 
Admission results and instructions are available on the university website from August 18. Online confirmation runs from August 19 to August 27, with in-person procedures from August 24 to September 1. The university will enroll 94 general majors and 15 advanced program in 2024. Kentucky University of Medicine and Pharmacy has announced the 2024 admission scores based on high school exam results. Scores for admission range from 19.2 to 25.7 points, with medicine having the highest score at 25.7 points, followed by dentistry at 25.65 points and pharmacy at 24.78 points. Admitted candidates must confirm their admission online via the Ministry of Education and Training System by 5 p.m. on August 27, 2024. After confirmation, they will receive their admission notice either by email or directly from the university. In 2024, the university will offer 11 majors, including a new one in biomedical engineering. Ladies and gentlemen, there are only about four months left until the end of 2024. This is also a favorable time for tourism units to explore products and services to serve domestic and international tourists with travel needs at the end of the year. More to follow in Traveling Around Qatar this week. Atta means always a special type and is chosen by many people for traveling abroad. Grasping that need this year, this travel agency has designed a variety of autumn awesome tour programs with many attractive destinations from Asia to Europe. In particular, Korea and China are two destinations that are focused on exploring to have tourists have experiences of nature, culture and cuisine and a most beautiful type of the year in these two countries. Traveling at this time suit me personally. In my opinion, each tour, each year is different. The service is getting better and better, the cost is reduced, and there are promotions for customers. In addition to the two itineraries we designed for making Delta tourists to go abroad along the routes of Northeast Asian countries, routes with beautiful autumn, the travel also launches other products to introduce to tourists from other regions to the Western River region at the end of the year with the design to introduce typical products of the flooding season of the Southwest in general and Canada in particular. From now until the end of the year, it is also the pick of international visitors to Vietnam. In order to meet the needs of international visitors, in particular, as well as domestic visitors, many attractions and resorts of Kanto City also have new investments, as well as upgrade existing products and services. In addition to renovating and renewing the space to experience the ecological garden, this ecological garden is also put into operation the homestay area on the garden campus to create multi-experience integration for tourists in just one destination. Cross been the huge demand for tourists staying overnight and in response to the floating market tourism festival as well as the September 2nd holiday, we opened a five-room homestay accommodating 25 guests. To stimulate demand, we prepare combos for guests to eat and sleep in the garden. We also prepare bicycles to ride around the village and other experiences such as fishing. We chose this location because it is close to the floating market. There are many entertainment activities such as fruit garden, swimming, boat rowing, and there is a homestay for vacation and accommodation. With thoughtful preparation, diversity of products and services, Kenter's tourism center is expected to be more bustling from now until the end of the year. Coming up next is the weather forecast.
thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time